2021 was one of the most impactful years of my life. Now, coming after 2020, it wasn't going to be that difficult for this year to surpass the last, but after experiencing both the highs and the lows, I can confidently say that 2021 was one of the best years of my life. And I wanted to take this time and shoot this video to talk about how much you guys mean to me and how much uh, I really appreciate you and the platform that you've given me. And I also want to give you an update on my personal life and kind of what's been going on behind the scenes uh, with my career. Because, you know, I graduated high school in May. I started making YouTube videos on this very same channel uh, when I was 15 years old. I've been doing it since I was a freshman or sophomore in high school, and I've just kept up with it. You know, there's no rhyme or reason, but I began to love it. And I really want to thank you guys for giving me an audience, giving me someone to talk to. And you guys have helped me through some pretty tough spots in my life. You know, 2020 was a rough year for a lot of people. I, for one, uh, was very much affected by COVID and, and the stuff uh, that happened with the lockdowns. And I, I told you guys about that last year, but you know, a lot of what happened in 2020 rolled over to 2021. So, you know, I was kind of dealing with the the aftermath of that until about midway through the year. And, you know, even though the Chiefs didn't end up winning the Super Bowl, that Chiefs playoff run was one of the most uh, exciting, fun times I've had making content for you guys. You know, I would stay up till four or five o'clock in the morning, shooting, editing, uploading videos, and then I would get up at 9 o'clock and do it all again. I was pushing like two or three videos a day. And the channel grew astronomically in that time period. And you guys are the reason why I'm at where I'm at. You know, I still don't think I'm anything in, in the terms of media or I'm nowhere near to where I want to be. But, you know, I do like to think that we've kind of got something going here. Having 6.2 subscribers or 6.2K that's a goal in which a lot of people will never hit. That's something that a lot of people try to do and they can't do it. And I'd like to thank you guys because, again, I would not be where I'm at without you guys. The overwhelming support when at times I was not able to post in 2021, uh, which is due to a lot of what I'm doing right now, which I'll talk about later in the video. But you guys always stuck around. You know, I a lot of my friends are like, who the hell wants to listen to you talk about sports? And sometimes I agree with them because, you know, I think every content creator is going to go through this, but you have a lot of second thoughts. You're like, am I good at this? Are you good enough at this? Um, is this something that's worth pursuing? And I think that this has been something that I've been trying to ask myself a lot because I'll go through, I've spent a lot of late nights at, at four or five o'clock in the morning. That just seems to be the time that I'm up, but I've gone through a lot of really late nights trying to find uh, content that. I could be proud of. And, you know, a lot of the stuff that I did when I was like 16, 17, as most things I guess any teenager would do, you're not exactly uh, proud of because I just wasn't very good at it. And I still think that I'm, you know, haven't really hit the surface of where I could get better. But I do think that I've made a lot of improvement, you know, in the way that I've been able to, to change my delivery and the way that I've been able to improve as a speaker. You know, I this is one of the first videos that I've done on camera, but... You know, just getting behind a microphone sometimes was a struggle. And you guys always were there, always were supporting the content that I put out, even if it wasn't good. And that, that to me, really shows me who you guys are because that's, that's difficult to do, and I really appreciate that. And I know this isn't the typical video. I'm not talking about the Chiefs in any way, but I, I wanted to bring up how important you guys were. And, you know, there's been a lot of times where, I didn't want to stay up late and do this, or I didn't want to do this, but you know, you guys have always been the motivation and just always been the reason as to why I do what I do. And I really appreciate that. And I, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, I would not be where I want to be or anywhere at where I'm at right now without this platform, without the, the powers, I guess, that you guys have given me. And to that, I say, uh, thank you. I'm very appreciative of it, and this is something that I can see myself doing for a long time. Now, you're probably wondering, Michael, where are you? And a lot of people know this from watching the live streams. Um, I'm a board op and a producer at 810 Sports Radio. You know, it's something that I do part-time, but it's a job that I got, I think it was in September. It was Sept August or September, and I wasn't qualified for it. You know, I was, uh, I remember I was sitting in, uh, 
class because you know I graduated high school in May and now I'm taking some some college classes and I got this opportunity. I saw that they needed somebody and I jumped at it. And so I've been spending a lot of my time uh, producing KU football games, producing KU basketball games at 810 Sports Radio. I've logged in a lot of long hours here, but you know it's something that I truly love to do. And that's a job that you know a lot of guys don't get the opportunity to do. And I like to think that you guys, in a way, help me get this job. And I, I really do appreciate that. And I love working at 810. And it's just been something that has challenged me each and every day. You know, I'm not here every day, but it's always been trying to find ways to get better. And that always comes back to shooting YouTube videos. How can I get better at this? So I'll get better at that, which will make better content for you guys. That's ultimately my goal. And I like to think that I've gotten better at it over the past year. And that's my goal. Every day, I'm trying to get a little bit better. And I hope that it's going to get to the point where I'm putting out the best content that I put out. And, and I think that's one thing that I'm proud of is I can look at my year-by-year -year basis and look at you know what I was doing in 2018 and 2019 and 2020. And I can confidently say that I've gotten better each and every year. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. So you know I got this job with 810 Sports Radio producing. Uh, I started out doing high school football games. But, you know, I also started writing for uh, KC Kingdom, which is a branch of Fansided, which, you know, I'm not a great writer. I'm still learning, but, you know, I'm good enough. And uh, my guy, Josh Fan, gave me the uh, an initial chance to write for that company. And I'm, I'm so grateful to Josh. And I met so many great people this year that it's really made talking to you guys and giving you guys content even more fun. You know, you guys have heard me talking uh Talk it up with uh, Lucas Murphy. He's now the uh, the site manager over at KC Kingdom. He does all the editing and, and stuff like that. He's the manager over there. Josh Fan, he's always doing his stuff. I'm so appreciative of him uh, for all that we've been able to do together. Uh, Blake Schneider's my uh, my coworker here. He's hopped on the podcast a couple times. It's just it's always been fun to bring in a new perspective, and I think that I've met so many great people this year. And if I'm leaving your name off. Trust me, I'm not forgetting about you, but you've been very important to uh, making content and trying to put out the best stuff. And I can say that this year was definitely one of the best years that I've had. And, you know, guys, I've kind of learned that over however long you're trying to do something, as long as you put in 100% effort, you're going to get to where you want to be. I'm not at where I want to be yet. There's still a lot of things that I want to do on this channel. I want to hit 10K. I want to hit 15, 20. I want, I want to keep going up. I ultimately one day probably want to work for the Kansas City Chiefs, do something in media, do something in the broadcasting department. And my hope is that I'm going to continue growing on YouTube, continue giving you guys the best Chiefs content that I can possibly give you. Uh, keep progressing here at 810. Get more internships other places. Just keep building experience. And, you know, I guess my message could be, even though 2021 wasn't great at all times, I think that a lot of it's a mindset thing. If you wake up every day and say, you know what, today's going to be a good day. I'm going to accomplish what I want to get done and I'm going to have a good attitude. And if you do that, you will be successful and you will do what you need to do. And I think that that's been something that it took me 19 years to learn. A, a good mindset can really change the way that, uh, uh, your life goes. So sorry this video wasn't uh, the normal style. I'm definitely not uh, uh, talking about anything Chiefs related here, but I wanted to take this time, like I've said for the thousand times seemingly, I'm probably repeating myself, but I wanted to take this time to actually tell you, like most YouTubers don't, but I wanted to take this time to tell you that you truly are important. You have stuck with me in times in which I wasn't really wanting to do it you guys have always been the reason as to why and I don't know where I would be at without you guys you guys have given me everything so I really do appreciate that and uh, yeah we're going to keep dominating in 2022 more content will be on the way uh, we got this nice studio behind me so we're going to use this to record a lot more stuff but uh, just recapping the year I'm very appreciative of each and every one of you I hope you guys had a great Christmas uh, happy! I hope you have a happy new year. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you in 2022. Peace.